Well, the San Diego State game was a difficult one to lose. And maybe it's, it was his nature that we get her tied finally again, and they just run it down and score on a tough shot. Like, like old DJ Gay said, it sucks to be CSU again. How far off is West right now? Yeah. I, you know, I think just the speed of the game being out as long uh, as long as he was really hurt him. Well, Wes Ackmeyer's been hurt. He's got what now we know to be tendonitis, and it's in a, uh, in a tendon or muscle right above his arch that runs in the medial, the middle part of his foot. It's frustrating when you can't, when you know it's just it's just down there and it's not going away. So um, it's it's tough to it's tough to play basketball with hurt feet. Wes Ackmeyer only played 10 minutes on, on Wednesday night. Obviously, still battling the foot injury. Uh, what's his status for tonight? Sir? He'll be unavailable for tonight. Yeah, I don't know when we'll get him back. I wasn't the happiest person having to sit out for that, but uh, I'm doing all I can to recuperate my foot and get back, but it's definitely tough sitting out like that. Well, Tim, obviously an uh, extremely disappointing and heartbreaking game on, on Wednesday night. Uh, here we are three days later. Is, is the sting lessened a little bit? Um, you know, I was working out today and I'm like, kid, get ready for Wyoming. That's all that matters. Well, I don't think there's any question that there was an effect you know, a Paul, a hangover, so to speak, after the San Diego State game. And I'm not so sure both teams didn't have it. Uh, even though they won, uh, it, hurt, it took some out of them, and even though we lost, it took a lot out of us. That certainly had an effect, but we have to be beyond that. Bottom line is grow up, you know, uh, go out and compete. There's no urgency. We're not on the attack at all on either end. We're just going through the motions. You're trying to play for a NCAA tournament thing, going through the motions? Who do you think that's going to work against? Man up and compete. You know, something needed to happen. We weren't getting a spark. Uh, a lot of us uh, were just standing there, even myself. Late clock cruise. Luster's going to have to put it up. No, a dish walked out. He beat it and got fouled. Dre. Andre, too. Dre. We always put Andre in if there's a shooting situation. I've talked to him and said, you know, I know you're sitting there not playing. Um, are you ready? Can you come in and think you can make a shot? And Andre, I just love it. He just, yeah, like, yeah, of course. Are you crazy? When it doesn't go in, it's a surprise to me. Ruben, I want a timeout after his first one. For the Cowboys, and he's playing any substantial time at all this year. Dre, get Greg. Andre. Get Greg, hustle, Dre. Miles had told me before, like in that one game, he told me just uh, at, like last second, just want to get the ball in my hands and let me just shoot it from somewhere. And uh, come out that huddle, that's what he told me. He was like, everybody was driving. He told me to spot up. So when Dorian drove at me, I said the only thing that was going through my mind was a shot. Let's go! Go! The foul line pushing to Dorian Green. McFarland, they put the shooter in. Well, it's a great sum by Tim Miles. Ray's a kid that, that he, he's, he's born ready to make shots. He's always done it all his life. And, you know, the fact he's not playing that much right now, he knows when he's called upon. Um, he still has the confidence to step in and, and, and make shots. I love that confidence. I love that, um, uh, that fact that he also can go out and perform. And that shot, you know, cut the lead. And then we got the possession back, uh, the first possession of the second half, and score it. That's a 5-0 run. And they don't even get to touch the ball. And that was a critical part of the game. There's no doubt about it. That changed the tie. Nope. A chance. It's, it's going to be Cruz from midcourt. It's huge. It's, it's huge to get that um, taste of losing out of our mouth and uh, to move forward. And, and every win, every win in conference is huge. Let's have a good week of practice. Let's get prepared mentally because this wasn't a good enough mental effort to me. This wasn't competitive enough. This wasn't intense enough. This was guys not there. And we got lucky. And okay, great, we got lucky. Uh, now let's go out and earn one. Let's earn one. That New Mexico game is critical. Wes, are you walking through or not? Yeah. Wes, you know, couldn't play against Air Force and then was really tried to play against San Diego State, but, uh, but was really ineffective. And now we're back at a point where he's trying to practice. And really what we'll find out is um, if he can handle a couple days of practice, you know, is he ready to play in the game? Today, I mean, it was probably one of my better days foot-wise. Uh, it's still sore. I mean, I'm, I'm still battling the pain, but you know, I just kind of got to battle through the soreness. We need Wes, but we need Wes healthy. And so when he gets healthy enough, we'll have him in the lineup on a regular basis. I just don't know when that's going to be. I mean, we don't guard the ball. Nobody steps up. 
You just give up an uncontested layup. Yeah, we, we've given up too many layups. You gotta challenge them at the rim. I don't want anything free. Nothing free, like NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Nothing at the fucking rim. All right, we're good. We'll watch their stuff. Come on. Let's go. Get stretched. I want to tell you what. New Mexico's had their way with us, all right? And this is enough. We've taken enough, right? We did a good job the second half up there, standing on our own two feet. But by God, tomorrow, you meet these guys. Same mentality you meet San Diego State. They're 7-0 against us. Bottom line. Bottom line. Every, you've never beat them. You've never beat them. You've never beat them. You've never beat them. I've never beat them. All right? All right? Let's beat them. We know it. Uh, their coaches know it. Um, you know, their players know it. So I think we owe them one, and I think tomorrow night uh, is our time to, to show them. On the line. Let's go on the line. You gotta get over it. I'm not, I'm not over it. You gotta get over it. I did. I did. Get over it. You gotta get over the screen. I was saying as soon as you put it down there. Go. Good. Apply stress. This is for third place. I think three teams from the Mountain West are gonna go to the NCAA tournament. I think we need to be third place alone ahead of UNLV, ahead of New Mexico. Um, so you have to win these games at home. All right, team on three. Ready? One, two, three, team. team.